Richard Martin here for the Eagle Sports Network. Following the Tusculum Open, the first race for the Carson Newman Cross Country team in over 600 days with Coach Mike Spooner. And Coach Spooner, you had a lot of new faces out there. Your women come away with second place finish, men with third place finish overall, and you had some good individual finishes. Um, what were some of the positives you saw from this first race here? Uh, the positive is that we, you know, we took a step forward. Uh, we got a race under our belt. We, uh, as you mentioned, the 600-day mark is now down to zero, um, and that's really, uh, you know, the biggest uh, plus. Uh, you know, we had a few um, athletes on the team that uh, kind of went a little bit into panic mode because of the first race, but um, you know, as the race went on, they started to realize, oh, hey, I got this. Now we just take, you know, the end of that confidence, uh, put it all the way through. Um, I think we'll start seeing. Uh, even better results but uh you know we, we had a you know a lot of them uh for a month's worth of time in terms of getting us caught back up to pace uh, you know i thought there was a lot of uh, positive things to look forward to in that regard um, looking first at your women's race rachel strayer another good day third place finish and then madison dockery her first collegiate race finishes fifth place um you had also two other top 10 finishes in katie smock and olivia fanning what can you say about your women's team and how they did in their first race back so they looked great um you know and it's all positive stuff because we actually were missing um inca van gogh uh, who will be able to return to action um, at our next meet and so i'm excited to get her on board because she's been working out right in the middle of um, Smock and Madison and, uh, and, and Strayer as well. So uh, getting those four together, you know, in a race, I think is going to be great. Um, you know, Strayer had, you know, was leading the race uh, with about 75 to go, and you know, her legs gave out. And uh, for me, it's a, a great sign as we've only had a month really of getting stronger. And so it's uh, going to be great to see how each week going forward, um, there's definitely uh, some bright spots for sure. Looking at the men's side, Raymond Bruckman's his first ever race in cross country, finishes second place. Um, and then Kirby Logan with a top 15 finish. Uh, what did you see from your guys' team today? Hearing uh, you say first college race over and over again is definitely uh, is a positive for sure. <laughs> but uh, certainly understanding that uh, we had a lot of new faces, a lot of people that are learning uh, college cross country and learning really how to race and how to race the right way. Uh, very exciting. Um, the guy side uh, looked good. Uh, they definitely came out, um, you know, and fought hard. Um, a lot of them, you know, have specialty track backgrounds, maybe aren't as far in distance, but certainly changing the mindsets to be able to focus on racing hard. Um, Ray looks great. I think he's going to get better and better every race he runs. Um, seeing uh, Christian Henry definitely step up today. Uh, Kirby and uh, Hunter, uh, you know, in the mix as well. A uh, little bit more buddy running. I think they're going to, you know, essentially break out and push each other as well. And Will will come along in time also. So definitely some bright spots on a, uh, on a, on a guy squad that has a, you know, a, a lot to still continue to learn. You have about three weeks off, and you head to the course that you'll see three times in the Calpine Park in Charlotte. First time going for a race hosted by Queens. It's going to be a very different course, but it's also a little bit similar to what you run at in Mossy Creek. Um, how are y'all going to prepare over the next three weeks for that course? Yeah, and, and certainly not a uh, excuse by any means because the big point today was to come and race. But a lot of what we're doing is gearing for the races that are going to matter later in our season. Louisville and Calpine are both very flat, very fast races. And uh, obviously you're still in that gravel nature that we benefit from in Mossy Creek. Uh, so a lot of our workouts have definitely been geared towards a much quicker basis and today was a great chance for them to really open their eyes to racing again and then as I construct workouts going forward to gear for those races um, obviously still farther in length on the guy's side uh, but doesn't change the way that we've been uh, training and racing and hopefully it'll all uh, come together uh, come the postseason. Chris thank you for your time. Congrats today. Thank you.